Hello everyone and welcome to Ether 1. Ether 1 is a first person adventure game that deals with the fragility of the human mind. There are two paths in the world you can choose from and it, at its core is a story exploration path free from puzzles where you can unfold the story at your own pace. So that seems like a new um, a new type of game to me, not really a type of game but a, a new concept anyway where you can choose whether you want to do a puzzle driven path or just an exploration path. Now I'm a huge fan of exploration games which is one of the reasons why I want to play this one. It looks pretty cool. I'm not 100% what the story is about besides for that. But that's what we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and start the game. Hey, it's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it, but, but Jesus, do, do you know how they view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. Okay, so, uh... Um... As you can see, I put on subtitles for you guys because I often uh, talk over the subtitles. Um, this guy just talked to me about something. I'm going someplace anyway, so I guess that's where we're heading. Keeping your fondest memories alive. Discuss the benefits with your local Ether representative. Okay. You will never forget. We can help them remember. Pick up a resp restoration information leaflet today. All right. So I think this game has something to do with the fact that um, it has to do with amnesia, I think. Um, or dementia, maybe. I think it's dementia. So basically, um, they have a way to preserve your memories so that you don't lose them in dementia, which is pretty interesting. Press and hold left mouse button. Century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. Cool. Alright, we're gonna walk away from that thing because uh, that's a lot of talking. Alright. Type in with the keyboard. What are we going to type? Type her name? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Matt. Shay. Enter. Now what? Oh, date. No. No, that's it? That's it. Okay. Alright, I did it. And left mouse button to interact. Ding! Is that... It is. It's me! Oh, this is excellent. We're so glad to have you back. My name is Dr. Edmonds, but you can call me Phyllis if you like. Hi, Phyllis. How's it going? Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. The top drawer? Is that what she said? Over here? Well, Jesus, I gotta do everything by myself. Where is everybody in this Restoration game? Restoration procedure for patient. J N two zero five seven. Will commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems we best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind, would you be a dear and head on down? Okay, so let's uh, let's go down to Restoration Chamber 3 or something. When holding an object, use E to examine it. I don't have any objects. Whoa, I have an object. <laughs> Never mind. Nah, I'm apparently holding it somewhere. I like the uh, I like the visuals in this game so far. They're, uh, they're pretty nice. Restoration Chamber 3. Alright, let's go get some fucked up shit done to us, I guess. I don't know how they're going to restore my memory. Something to do with mapping the human brain and something to do with genomes. I don't know. Press this button again. Here we are. That Beautiful, looks like uh... a miracle of the twentieth century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. Okay. Press and hold the left mouse button to identify objects. What's this? Right. Would you be a dear and help me with the setup? Okay. I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. This thing? The, the, the. What am I doing? Is it, do I have to go over there? I want to press on some stuff. 
Computer terminal. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Hold it and it'll tell you what's going on. What is this? It's a clipboard. Well, thank you for that. Restorers may only carry one item. Place item in the item zone before you pick up fuse. Oh, I'm going to be stored here. Press this button. Oh, God's sake. Why can't anything work around here? Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By the computers over there. What does that say? Only accepts 300 A, a fuse? Okay. How do I get this one out? Wait, what? Only accepts 300 A fuses. So why is this one a 75 A fuse? This, 120, 75, 300A. Go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, oh I got it. Okay, take it. That's mine, and uh, that there is no longer needed. So we'll just run over here, and we'll place it in after we take the other one out somehow. I don't know if you just switched them when you press on it. Let me see. Press on it. There we go. Aha! Now close that up, and press the button. Ding! What happened anyway? Did anything happen? Oh, creepy music. That should do it. Right. Thank you for that. Always nice to get some help around here. Now, if you don't mind, I think it's time to take a seat. Alright, this looks pretty damn comfortable. Look at that. It's like made of like. Really soft material by the look of it, and red is always the color of something fancy, so, uh... Well, if not purple, but red seems to be a good fancy color, so let's sit in this chair, see what happens. Right. A few things before we project. Our client, Jean, is currently in a very delicate state. Jean? Who the hell's Jean? Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is causing the disease. Oh, okay. In order okay. to do that from within going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the medical treatment she's receiving. So what's going on anyway? Ooh, things are coming down over me. Or are you going to put me in like a big circular thing and I'm going to have like be in like virtual reality? This game actually does support Oculus Rift, guys, but uh, I don't have an Oculus Rift. I'm probably going to get the new new version when it comes out. The Dev Kit 2.0. All right, we're in we're in our circular circle are sphere. You ready? Yep. I'm ready. Let's go fizzle. Fizzle. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Fizzle. That's a good name for you, Phyllis. Oh, there's a noise. A heartbeat. Ah, here we go. Now, I know this may feel a little strange, being new technology, but please don't worry about it. We all get used to change eventually. Oh, don't. shit. That's water. All right, um... How can I breathe underwater, Phyllis? That's a lot of water. Ooh! Oh shit. This is weird. What? Alright, that's it then. We're in! <laughs> oh, the chair's even nicer now! Okay, listen it's a up. Full chair. You are in your case. You're probably going to come back here a lot. So please take some time to get acquainted with your surroundings. It keeps most restorers sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Okay. T to travel to the case and back. Press T now. Ooh. Whoa, what is this? It's a picnic. Holy shit, we're having a picnic. A harmonica? Can I pick it up? Play it. No, you gotta play it. Okay. Blow. You can't, you can't play it. You know what? Never mind. All right. Well, uh, we also got uh, some alcohol. That's cool. Oh no, it's I want the harmonica though. It's noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. Oh. So I can take that harmonica, flick over here, and be like, "Yo, this harmonica, there it is. Now Our I can use the harmonica later." its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Oh. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. 
All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. All right, hurry up. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Oh shit, I'm going to the Pinwheel Harbor, man. That's it, I'm going. See ya. Can't go to Pinwheel Harbor. Ooh, what's this thing? What are you? Can I can I press you? No, okay. Um can we get going now? If you know if I want, can we leave? Where the mind thinks, the heart transmits. I'm gonna go back to the the other place. Here we go. Alright, let's go on a journey. This place looks pretty damn nice. Look at that. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Look at all that stuff. Delvin Mine. I don't know what a Delvin Mine is. We're gonna find out. So the right mouse button will let you zoom in on stuff, so you can kind of zoom in a little bit and see what's going on. There's a lighthouse over there. I want to go to the lighthouse, but I'll probably never get there because there's no bridge. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get onto it. Alright. What's going on? Can I jump? Can't jump off the bridge. That's cool. Hello? Is anyone home in here? Kind of just walking around and invading your, uh... Invading your privacy. What's this? I want that. I want that gas mask. Oh, man. Why can't you pick anything up? Readings indicate that the hey. central focus of this memory is located below you. In an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Oh, Devlin, Entry not Delvin. D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. Oh. Okay. So, uh, let's go to Devlin Mine. Let's just go down in here and see what the hell's going on. The hell is this thing? I don't even know. I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna press this thing over here. What's this? That's not even a button. So, uh, how does one get to Devlin Mine? Is this, uh, this a key? Is this a clue? What secrets does a lighthouse hold? Oh. Imagine that. Some kind of secret lighthouse. Nobody knows why that lighthouse is there. Nobody knows why you can't get to it. What the hell is going on? Paper. Typewriter. Can I, can I type? Ooh, I can type. Sort of. There's nothing coming up. There's no paper in it. <laughs> I love how this isn't just a plate, it's a Devlin Mine bronze plate from 1670. Alright. So, uh, if you could just, uh, help me get to Devlin Mine now, that'd be cool. Let's get to Devlin Mine. That's a door, look at that. There's nothing in here, just a kettle. Is this the way down over here? Is there something in here? Oh, this is a fancy door with a, with a combination on it. Well, shit, how am I gonna get this? I gotta look around for that combination now. You the combination? Dear Mr. Harvey, as I am sure you are aware, my client, Mr. H. Smith, is intent on offering you a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. So this is some kind of, uh, note. I don't feel like reading all these notes. I'm, I just gotta find the note that was upstairs again. I didn't even realize there was anything written on it. Maybe that got the answer. Come here, note. Oh really? You're just a piece of paper. You're not a note at all. You're my piece of paper now, whatever. Hey, what are you? I need to ensure that I remember the lock combination to Devlin's side entrance, but the warden banned any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates, don't forget. Hey, 1670, you remember that? 1670, I bet that's the code. Yeah, I got it, hold on. Hold on, we got this. All right, let's go. That gotta be one. That's one, six, and yeah, there we go, we okay. opened it. So I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great length, but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down further into the mine, it seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. You got it, Fizzle. Let's go. I can't do this. I can't hit the thingy. I gotta go back. Hold on. 
The other one. I, I hit the other one and nothing happens. We'll try it again. Ensure all, all valves are in correct position before lever activation. Okay. The hell do I do? It looks like uh, we gotta go down here, but we can't uh, can't get down there because of all the water, and that's why we need to do the lever thing. I have no idea. I have no idea. What's this say? She stirs beyond the waves. I'm not reading that. What does this say over here? Oh, okay. Here we go. This is what we need to know. These are the valves. Okay, open valve, closed valve. So this one needs to be open. So open, closed, closed, open, closed, open, closed, closed, open, closed. Let's try that. Okay, I can see it from here. <laughs> open, closed, closed, open. Wait, open, it, open, and closed. There. This is it. This is it. We got it. Boom. Hey, hey, hey! There goes the water. Thank you very much. Big sign that tells me what to do. And there's the steps that we needed. Ooh. Oh, this isn't. I thought this was like a dark little place you go down, but it's not. Really, this is all you're gonna give me? What does this thing do? That does. That doesn't even do anything. I think we gotta go over to the other side now. I think we gotta hit the other lever now, and that'll do something. This is probably an elevator. I bet you it's an elevator. Just because I know these things, because this is what elevators look like. Yay! All right, I think we're at Devlin Mine now. I think we're in the heart of the mine or something. We're pretty far down, and now we have even more gas masks. I really want to wear one. I feel like I'm going to have to eventually. Eventually, I'm going to go down and be like, Oh, well, uh, you know, you'll probably die if you don't wear one. Projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening, as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. What one? What task could try? I don't know what she's talking about. Let's see what this says. Air hoses have been clogged up, which means I'm gonna have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here, and I don't care how I do it. We had to seal the lower mines off to stop the smoke spreading. It's helping the miners, and even though it's not ideal, it will have to do for now. Alright, Foreman. What does that mean? Hello, what are you? The things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. All right, it's mine now, and I can transport back and forth, right? Anytime I want. So now I got this. Uh, I got this shit right here. Look at that. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. It's uh, isopropyl ethyl thionocarbamate. All right, that's. I'm just gonna put it here because that sounds delicious, and I'm gonna have it later. I'll store important notes like this downstairs in the case for you. All right, thank you very much, Phyllis. You whenever you want to have a look at them. Okay, Dan. If I can't find the air compressor, compression, manual anywhere, which means we can't get the door to budge, it must be around somewhere, and you were the last one to have it. Can you please find it and place it here on my desk? Okay, the air compression manual. So we need the air compression manual so that we can get the door to open or something. I'm just going to look around until I find it. What do these do? Whoa! Jesus Christ! You do not want to put your penis in there! Aha! What's this? This is a note. Hide and seek. We slink and stir throughout the night, lurking through the unknown, relishing the places where only children dare go. Dan dar dank. Oh, dank alleys. And secret fields navigated with the aim of reaching our adventurous and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes our lamp in tow. That was useless. I don't want that. I don't want either of these things. Can you please leave? There, get out of here. Projector, zero parts restored. Okay, so the projector is like a like a side task, and you need to restore the parts to it. I don't know if we can maybe do that. I don't know if there's any projector parts around here we can just put on there. Just, you know, no big deal. All right, glass bottle, you're going in here. Go in here. That's a good place to put a glass bottle, right? There we go, yes, okay. <laughs> They hold the key to remembering the way we were. Okay, so... Um... I hope that wasn't important. Nah, it wasn't important, Phyllis. Don't worry about it, man. I'm just gonna keep breaking things, because that seems like the thing to do. I got a little bottle there somewhere. I gotta go get it again. I laid it out here. Alright, bottle. Let's go. I might break that harmonica, too, while I'm at it. Like, I don't even care. It's just gonna break everything. What? We can't break that? So what's this about? Why did I break the glass? Can I cut something with it? Oh, maybe I can cut something with it. That would make sense. 
he said something over here about uh, about cutting something. Let me see. He said, air hoses are clogged. Gonna have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here. Don't care how to do it. Okay. All right. We got to punch holes in the rubber pipes. You rubber pipes? Hey. Okay. So that happened. Now what? Whoa, 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 look at this. This wasn't restored a second ago. Now it says that one part has been restored. This is strange. I don't really understand what's going on. Oh, there's another rubber pipe here. Aha! Whoa, a door comes down if you do that. All right. Now we are talking. We made it out of there finally. Um, some more stuff. I guess we just got to read and see what's on the go. I'm going to go back and check out that projector to see if the projector has been more restored. Because it should be restored now. Even though I don't know what that means. Alright, there we go. So it's uh, it's almost back to the way it was before. It just needs to be stood up now. So I guess the next thing that I do will uh, stand it up. Oh, there's more rubber pipes. Okay, now that door went down. Which means that the other thing is probably even more fixed now. I don't know why, but I have some kind of fascination with that projector, man. Oh man, it's not. Okay, let's continue our journey through this uh, little maze mine thing. Here we go. Aha! Now, there's a book here. A spray of perfume and it all comes flooding back. Mmm. They, uh, they say that smell is one of the strongest triggers of a memory. And I believe it, man. Sometimes you just smell things and you're like, Hey, that's the way my friend's house smelled ten years ago. And you're like, well, how did I even know that? I don't know, just memories, man. This is a, uh, a little um, poem, apparently. I don't really care about no poems. Oh, I'm going to get claustrophobic in here. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just a dead end. Can't get up there. I need, like, a remote control car. <laughs> just go on through there. Um, I guess that's it in here. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. That thing that I picked up. That's the freaking air compressor manual. I didn't even realize it. I was like, okay, cool, a book. No, that's not only, that's not just a book, Matt. That's the book that you were looking for, okay? And now you can do that thing with the manual, and it'll make things better. And maybe the projector is fixed now, too, while while uh, you were at it. All right, so that's not fixed. But uh, we got that uh, manual there now. So can we just take her around with this now that we have a manual? Can you please find it and place it on my desk? Here you go, bud. Whoa! All right. So, uh, that came out of nowhere. Well, not really, but it... All right, so um, the perfume was successful. Oh man, there's gonna be like a dead person up here because that's what happened, or some kind of tragedy. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. I'm not ready for this. There's a lock on this thing. I can't get out of here. What the hell? I hear music though. There it is. There it is. Ooh. Our readings, they're showing that this, this is what's causing the symptoms of dementia in our patient. Motherfucking plaque. It's, it's part of what's causing it. Alright, this plaque is mine. Thank you very much. Just I'm gonna go. Anyway you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. Okay, I was just gonna go and lay it on my shelf. I thought it was, I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want one of these on their shelf? Can I do that? Can I do that instead of breaking it? That's probably not going to fly too well with the game. So I'm just going to put it in here. Here you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gene. <laughs> Break it. Break it. I need to escape. This is fucked up. What switch? Gah! 
I think I did it. Did I do it? Why are you coming over here? Don't stay away from me. The hell is going on? I mean, push backwards. That thing just hit a wall. Okay, can I leave? Yeah, I can leave. Look at that door. But wait, wait, there was a lock over here. There's a locked door over here. Why can't I go through the locked door? I can't even jump. Oh, okay. Never mind. Being sucked into this thing instead. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold my arms and just watch myself get dragged out of here. Woo! Hula hoop! Okay, so this life is just passing me by here now and in through another door. Now I'm in a locker room. Miner's dry. What? We're almost done. Jump! Whee! Oh, this is some crazy shit right here. Whoa. Moments, like stars, are passing me by. Burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful. So fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. No, you can't have it, Jean. It's not for you anymore. Restorer, can you hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. Hi. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Well, excuse me. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. They're core memories. Oh, okay. Select Pinwheel Harbor on map to travel there. And so, uh, I guess there's 20 projectors in the game? That's pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure how this thing goes about the whole you can solve puzzles, but you don't need to solve puzzles thing, because right then I just needed to solve some puzzles. I don't know how else I would have done it. But uh, this game is actually pretty cool. Um, I do like the atmosphere a lot. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, like, exploration games and stuff. I, I play Dream a lot. What's, oh, that's, De okay, that's Devlin and the Harbor. And there's a big map here, so we, like, unlock more of the map as we go. If there's 20 projectors all together, then that's a lot of uh, game time. And, uh, yeah, so far it was, a, it was a nice, pleasurable experience for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can, uh, you can buy this game on March 25th. That's tomorrow, if you're watching this video on the day it releases. Um, it's, I think it's gonna be 60. You can currently pre order it actually for $16.99. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.